when we pray thy kingdom come what when you do what what do you think's going on what do you expect from that prayer i i think i sense in my own mind both um, the deep unease at how things are hmm. and uh, a firm and sometimes some days buoyant hope that they will be transformed so it, 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 it's it's a long a prayer of longing hmm. and therefore it it has its elements of uh, contrition in it, oh, that's uh, fascinating. but it's also a prayer of hope, a prayer of trust in the promise that all things in Christ will be rendered good and whole and given to the Father. So it, it, it to me it is a, a very wonderful prayer where, where there is the harmony that is written into creation will be achieved. And in the meantime, we live with unease and pain and regret and great fidelity to the promise of what Christ can do and what Christ will do. I find that really moving because it seems to me to say that when we encourage people to join in this 10 days of prayer, between the 10th and 20th of May, that uh, and praying thy kingdom come, praying for those who are outside the life of the church, praying for situations and tragedies and good things. They don't have to come, you know, full of, uh, in, in exactly the right place. They just come no, as they are, are yeah. with the yeah. pain and that yeah. wonderful word, unease, yeah. Yeah. which may come from their own life. Sure, sure, it will do, it will do. I think the other thing that has crossed my mind um, recently is that the kingdom is written into creation. Mm. You know, that it was put to me, when we think of our task of proclaiming Jesus, um, we should remember that the unfolding of the incarnation goes back to the first act of creation. Yes, of course. And it is because the world is created through that eternal word that gradually becomes a fitting dwelling place for the incarnate word. Hmm. So one person said to me, he said, you know, the task of evangelization can't just consist in the last chapter. You have to tell <laughs> the whole story. And so we have to be able to somehow help each other to see that this is God's creation, it is good, it is beautiful, it is purposeful, and without that sense of our world and of ourselves, it's as if the coming of Christ into the flesh of our world can't quite happen, because our heart and mind is not open to the beauty that is here to receive it. And it seems to me that's also though implies that when we pray thy kingdom come it's not we can then sit back and fold our arms and say over no, to you mate no it's no. it's saying we will participate we will take our yeah. share in yeah. that and we will take our share in it because we are convinced that the innate nature of our world and of ourselves is good and beautiful and therefore ah. is to be brought to its fulfillment what an amazing phrase, that the innate sense of ourselves and our world is beautiful. Yeah. I'm really, that, uh, that's such a healing thing to be involved in praying. Yeah, we kind of get closer to people and to those spheres of their life where there is love. They know that. Yeah, they they know the innate yeah, goodness right. of each other. They know that, you know, I, I was visiting some dying people this afternoon. There was a beauty about them. And there was, mm. there was one woman sitting with her dying mother. And there was, in her eyes, there was deep appreciation of her mother, even though the task of looking after her is, is difficult. And when, when mm. we, we have that sense that 
football, let me put it negatively, if we don't have a sense of our own beauty and of the goodness of the world, we're probably not yet in the place where we can say to somebody, come to Jesus, because he's coming to you. So thy kingdom come is a transformative prayer. Yeah. yeah. And it demands our transformation. Yeah, and it demands a transformation of the way we habitually see each other and see our world, because the kingdom is already in the substance of the created order. Otherwise, it couldn't possibly be God's creation. God only does what's good and beautiful. Thank you.